What's up YouTube? This is the Demon Turtle. I'm going to be showing you guys another Doom Builder tutorial. This time I'm going to be talking about teleports. And it's actually really easy to do. So I'm going to show it to you in the Doom 2 format and then show you some different things you can do in the Doom and Hexen format. So let's just jump right into this. So we're going to create two rooms. The left room is where the player is going to start. And the right room is where the player is going to teleport to. So now I have these two rooms in here. I'm going to throw the player start in the left one. And then we need a way to teleport. So we're going to set a trip wire. This is the line that the player has to walk over in order to teleport. So go into line depth mode, right click, drag it, left click, and then right click again. And that creates your trip wire. Now, it looks like the player, if he was walking around, could probably get past this. So if you go into vertice mode by pressing V, you can right click and drag the ends so that there's no way to get past this trip wire. Okay, so now we have to go into line def mode and we're going to edit this line def. We're going to give it a tag of 1 and then we're going to hit teleport, walk over repeatable teleport. If you want this teleport to only work once, W1 will work just fine, but WR is what we're going to do. And then also, if you want it to only have monsters be teleported, you can use these ones. I'll go more into that in a later tutorial. So now, we basically have the teleport all set up. Now we just have to set up the destination. So what I like to do, is I like to draw a sector. And then I'll put the thing in the sector. And the thing that we're putting down is actually the teleport destination. It's just found under teleports. And you can choose which way you want the player to come out facing. We're just going to do this way. It doesn't really matter for this tutorial. And then all we have to do is go into the sector that the thing is in and make it the same sector. Oops, sorry. Make it the same sector as the line was. So now if we go over this line in the line def mode, you can see that it highlights that sector. And the teleport destination is in that sector. So that's how you know it's going to work. I'm going to show you. Easy as that. Now I'm going to show you some other things in the ZDoom, Doom and Hexen format. Okay, so I'm switching now to ZDoom, Doom and Hexen format, and I'm going to show you how to teleport with a switch and how to make your teleport look a lot cooler. So, first, we're going to do the teleporting with a switch. So, I'm just going to set up uh, another room. I'm going to set the rooms basically the same, just the two rooms. Here we go. I'm going to put the player start in this one. There we go. And I'm going to create a switch here, here with my vertices. So now, if you go, oh, that's the wrong room. If you go into the 3D mode, you see that I created a texture. So we're going to go to side desk and we're going to switch it to a switch texture. So here we go, this one's good. And if you see it offset like this, you press Shift R to get it back to normal, or you use the arrow keys to change the offsets on it. So anyway, here's what our switch will look like. And now all we need to do is get it to teleport us into this other room. Now when you're editing in Hexen format, it's really cool because you can just put the teleport thing in here. Teleport destination. And go into the action tab and just hit one. You don't even need to put it in a sector that has the right tag. All you need to do is edit the thing to have a tag of whatever the teleport switch has. So now we're going to create the teleport switch. So right click on the line def, hit player, presses use, and then go to action, find teleport, and you can do the regular teleport or you can do a silent teleport. Silent teleport a lot of the times is used in monster ambushes. I'm just going to do the regular teleport and go to sector tag, or go to map spot tag actually, and click 1. And then make sure that it's a repeatable action, and let's test this. There you go, really easy. So now I'm going to do how I make my teleporters. I think they look really cool. So just hang on a minute if you want to see a cool way to make a teleporter. 
I'm throwing it back. I'm just restarting the map here. Okay. So I'm going to create a room looking like this. Throw a player start in there. And then I'm going to create another room over here. I don't really care what this one looks like, honestly. So I'm going to lower the lighting in the room with the player start. Where is that? It's over here. I do that by holding control and scrolling down. I just want it to look a little darker. I don't care about the second room. And now I'm going to create my teleport. So do you see these blue lines? This is where your uh, floor and ceiling textures, this is how they tile. So if you're creating a teleporter the way I'm doing it, you're going to want to put it between blue lines like this. I'll explain in a second. So I'm going to give this texture a teleport gate texture. It's just called gate something. Oh, is it? Yes, it is. So these are the teleport textures you see in Doom. I'm just going to grab gate 1. I'm also going to give the ceiling the same texture. And so you'll see here that it's perfectly, the texture's perfect. If I moved the sector, let's say I moved it here, you'll see that it's not. Or if I move it here, it's not. So it has to be between these lines to get it to look like it's tiled properly. Anyway, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the floor up one, and I'm going to raise the ceiling, or sorry, lower the ceiling down a few. So now you'll see that we're missing textures all around. I'm just going to give them a good support texture. So we're missing the upper and the lower on each side. So we're going to click that, give it support three, because I like that texture. And then I'm going to press control C. And if you want to paste it around this whole thing without going and clicking the mouse button throughout the whole thing, just hold shift and click the mouse button. Now all of them will have it. It's as easy as that. Okay. Now finally, before I actually set up the teleport, I'm going to increase the brightness in this sector so that's kind of noticeable. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to give it a special sector effect. I'm going to do light phased. I like the way light phased looks. So if we go into the game, you'll see what that makes it look like. Oop. Here we go. Now it's not going to do anything yet, but also give me one second. Light phase isn't what I was looking for. I was looking for light strobe or light flicker. That works too. They're slightly different, but I don't know where light strobe is. It's okay. Oh, light glow, I think will work. Yeah, there we go. So it has a cool, like, on and off light texture. So that's kind of what your teleport is going to look like. And then I'm just going to modify it so that you can teleport over into this room. I'm just going to create a teleporter and give it the tag of one. And then we're basically going to do the same thing we did in the first part of the tutorial. I'm going to highlight, holding left click and dragging all of these lines, right click on them. We want the trigger player walks over, repeatable action, and then we want to look for teleport, teleport, okay, sector tag of one. And that should be it. That should work perfect. There you go, that's our teleport. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or else have a good time.